Hi, I'm Chris. I'm going to show you how to play Bejeweled Blitz at amazing speed. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, basically uh, fire up Bejeweled on Facebook. Look for a Facebook group called Bejeweled Blitzers. And then uh, move to the info tab on that group and part way down there you'll find the website and from that website you'll be able to download the Jeweler zip file. Uh, Jeweler is the application which uh, basically uh, plays Bejeweled for us, so let's get rid of my picture and uh, get straight to work. So when you've uh, uh, extracted the zip file, inside there you'll see the Jeweler application and the help file. The help file gives some useful hints and tips. Uh, you're watching this video because you don't like to read instructions I guess, but uh, take a minute later perhaps just to have a quick uh, scan down that. So we get our uh, Bejeweled game ready here start the jeweler application and the first thing you're going to want to avoid is having anything overlapped on top of this uh, bejeweled game area so let's just line these two guys up side by side like so and uh, basically then uh, start to use this grab button to tell jeweler to take a picture of the screen over here so that it uh, can ultimately start to try and figure out where the gems are so let's show it where the gems are and press grab again. So now you can see we've got a picture of the board. Uh, and there's a red grid over here, but it's uh, kind of uh, out of position. Uh, that's to say that the red squares are not perfectly aligned around each of the uh, bejeweled gems. So the X and Y controls here will let you move this grid around until you get it in some kind of uh, close position. Uh, let me tell you though, if you have it in the best possible position, you'll get the best possible results. So, I know from experience playing the game yesterday that 336 for the Y coordinate and 176 for the X coordinate are the best positions for me. Uh, some things which will uh, really uh, mess up the game, uh, for example if this advert appears, what you'll find then, if we just realign these screens back, do a grab, you'll now see that Bejeweled uh, game board has moved down so the grid is again out of position so just watch for those really obvious things hey they're probably not obvious before but I'm sure they just became very obvious right then okay next thing let's set this speed to begin with at uh, 700 so uh, Jewel is not going to go crazy to start with let's uh, start the uh, Bejeweled game and then put a tick in this run box so that Jeweler now takes command of the Bejeweled game so you can see I'm not moving the mouse, it's over here. But uh, through some uh, programming techniques, Jeweler basically uh, quickly takes the mouse, makes a move on the Bejeweled uh, board game, then puts it back wherever you left the mouse. Hence you can see me moving it here, but uh, Bejeweled is getting played uh, just to the side there. Okay, so you can see already that uh, we've hit uh, amazing speed in uh, a good amount of time. The score's going up uh, quite nicely. If we start to drop this uh, speed number down here, then the moves will start to get faster and faster and faster. Around about 100, uh, 150, 100, whatever you prefer, is uh, probably a good number. What you'll see with uh, my particular web browser, Firefox, is that uh, things start to go a little crazy. Yeah, the gems are, uh, are stuttering, if you like, they're not moving slowly. Um, so that speed is something that you probably want to uh, experiment with. Find the best setting for your computer that gets you a decent score. Uh, the other thing to remember is I'm recording video and talking at the same time and that needs my computer's power. Uh, at your place when you get this thing uh, fired up, you won't be doing that at the same time as using uh, Bejeweled and Jeweler side by side so you'll have maximum kind of uh, computer power. So this is me playing Bejeweled just at the normal rate. So you can do that, but as soon as I click this run button again, Jeweler takes over. So Jeweler and you can become a kind of powerful team. You'll see that uh, uh, Jeweler uh, misses opportunities sometimes, so this uh, multiplier gem over here, we obviously need this orange gem or maybe an orange gem from over here to move closer so that we can get that match. So you need to keep an eye out on things. Team up. That'll certainly help you get uh, better scores. Uh, there'll certainly be things that uh, see right there. Jewel uh, missed that multiplier gem. The orange was waiting to drop into position, and as soon as it did, we had a match. Same here, three in a row. Jewel doesn't know what to make of this glowing gem. It expects it to be a solid green kind of thing like this, so let's move that in position. 
So that's what I mean by saying it's uh, it's a team effort. So uh, keep your eyes open. Uh, now we'll move into a little bit more of a technical phase of uh, of uh, using jeweler and, and bejeweled. We've scored enough coins now here to uh, start to use uh, power ups. Uh, those power ups are things like uh, buying an extra five seconds, or swizzling the board around, or exploding all the gems. The extra five seconds is the thing that's really going to pump the score up. So we'll buy the extra five seconds, but we must tell Jeweler to extend its control period. So uh, add an extra five seconds to the end of the game. So here we go. I'm going to click play here. I'm going to click run again, and then Jeweler will very quickly start to uh, fire those gems around for me. You'll see the speed bonus climbing up on the left hand side here at the top quite quickly. Suddenly now amazing speed is approaching and within 10 seconds we've got our first uh, period of amazing speed. So it's hell let loose every match is an exploding gem that's really going to pump the score up. And if you start to approach a score of 200, 300,000 by half time you're uh, really in a good position to do well. There's our second period now of uh, amazing speed. I'm watching out for this match over here. Okay, an exploding gem got the multiplier for me. We're already now at five times multiplier. So things are going pretty good for me here. Uh, this gold coin thing here, that's confusing jeweler. Let's make a match for it. So again, team effort, guys. Otherwise, things start to go pretty well once again. Yeah, another period of uh, amazing speed. I think it goes amazing, blazing, then killing speed, something like that. So my friend Adam using this yesterday scored 1.2 million. I don't think we're going to do that well today. But uh, you can certainly see that we've uh, scored 731,000 without even breaking a sweat. So some of our statistics here show how the points have mounted up. Round about when that six times kicked in. Then geez, yeah, things went uh, pretty well. Okay guys, there you are. There's uh, how to use uh, uh, Jeweler. Uh, just for the geeks out there, uh, just what we're doing here is we're doing a screen capture to take a picture of this uh, board, which is one of the things I demonstrated earlier. If you put this uh, tick in the box draw, every time you click grab, you'll get a new screen refresh. So let's do that right now. Another one. So you'll see that the board changes each time. And this fill cells tells uh, Jeweler that I want to uh, have Jeweler make obvious what colour it sees under there. So there we go, now there's a colour map. Uh, basically what Jeweler does then is it forms an array of uh, these colours, a two dimensional 8x8 eight eight grid in memory. And then it starts to use pattern matching to find where these colours actually line up to make matches of two or three. Over on the left here you can see that we've got three purple gems waiting to be moved into a pattern. So Jeweler sees those uh, gems in position and then it executes the move by doing a mouse down command, a mouse move command, then a mouse up to uh, create the drag and drop of uh, basically moving those gems into position to start scoring points. Okay guys, if you know me, um, some of you do out there, then uh, flick me a message if you want the source code, I'll flick the source code to you. Otherwise for the rest who are normal people, not geeking into bits, bugs and bytes, then just have fun with the application. Ciao for now guys, have fun, and uh, we'll see you next time for a new and improved version of Jeweler. Bye bye.